Marijuana businesses find it difficult to find a bank or a credit union that will provide them banking services for one fundamental reason. Marijuana is still illegal under federal law, and there's nothing that a state can do to change that fact. So banks and credit unions are reluctant to take on marijuana customers because doing so could bring them in violation of federal anti-money laundering laws. There are a relative few banks and credit unions that will bank marijuana businesses. They're relying upon past statements of the Department of Justice that the Department of Justice will not enforce federal law against state licensed marijuana businesses so long as they adhere to certain priorities that the Department of Justice has. Those priorities include things like not selling marijuana to minors and ensuring that the funds for marijuana sales do not go to criminal enterprises. They're also relying upon a guidance from the Federal Financial Crimes Enforcement Network that imposes significant due diligence responsibilities on the banks to ensure that the marijuana businesses are adhering to the Department of Justice priorities and to other uh, laws. And because these due diligence responsibilities are so significant, most banks and credit unions shy away from doing business with marijuana businesses. If a marijuana business finds a bank or credit union that will accept it as a customer, here's what they should expect. They should expect first that the bank is going to ask for a lot of information about them because the bank has to fulfill its initial due diligence responsibility in bringing the customer into the bank. And then they're going to have to continue to be an open book with the bank because the bank has continuing due diligence responsibilities to make sure that, they're, that the business is being operated consistent with the DOJ priorities and state law. And it's important that a marijuana business be an open book to its, its bank or credit union, that it be totally uh, truthful and accurate in that information because they don't want to violate uh, the federal bank fraud laws. Finally, all this due diligence is expensive, so a marijuana business is going to have to expect to pay some significant fees for the services that a bank or a credit union offers them. But I think that a marijuana business will find that those fees are worth the comfort of knowing that their funds are in a financial institution rather than sitting in a warehouse.